Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. You'll have to excuse all the background noise and wind. I'm at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show and it's the day before the show starts so there's a lot of setup going on. The yacht in front of us is an Ocean Alexander 30 Revolution or 30R for short. Thank you to Ocean Alexander for setting up this tour. Let's go ahead and check out this insanely beautiful 97 foot or 30 meter yacht. So like most of our tours, we're starting right in the back on the swim platform, but of course on a yacht this size, it's absolutely massive. You can see they put in the integrated steps. So when this is lowered into the water, you can walk right up into the yacht. And another fantastic feature back here, they actually installed a beach club. So we can slide that door open and both of these, I'm keeping one of them closed because of the wind, but you can open up both of these, completely opening up this space. You have an L-shaped settee in here. And then opposite of that, there's a TV mounted up on the wall. And then you have a sink and some fridge freezer drawers. So it's a very well catered area. And overhead, you actually have the glass roof. So there's plenty of natural light in here. And it just feels like an awesome place to hang out in. Let's close this up. And then we are going to head up onto the aft deck. So right away, you'll notice this massive U-shaped seating area and a huge table to go with it. You have plenty of space on this aft deck to install some extra freestanding chairs. There's a fold down TV. And then you have some storage as well as a refrigerator out here as well. Now there's currently some prep work being done on the boat. So we're gonna take an unusual route today we're actually gonna head up onto the aft bridge deck. Now this is one of my favorite spaces on this yacht. You have another fold down TV, tons of seating areas. And then if we move all the way back, you'll see we're under these canopies. This yacht comes with a jacuzzi and large sun pads that completely wrap around it. Obviously, this is an incredibly fun area to hang out on on the yacht. Yeah, it's only then you also have a grill and another refrigerator down here. So as I was doing my initial walkthrough, I noticed that these powered glass doors are incredibly silent. You'll see how wide they made this doorway. And then we'll step into the bridge deck salon or the sky lounge, whatever you want to call it. You have another huge L-shaped seating area. And then a fantastic bar area opposite of that. You have an ice maker, some more refrigeration. And then your sink. So the helm is open in this area. You have a couple of stid seats, side access doors on either side. And then look at this gorgeous helm station. You have three large monitors spanning across this helm. Then of course you have your VHF radios, your autopilot control, the throttle control, balanced stern thrusters, and your compass.
I think there's still some work being done downstairs. So we're gonna go on a little maze here. But we will head back down. Now you'll see the side decks are present for probably about two thirds of the boat. And then you take these stairs up. And this leads you back up to the bridge deck. That's that side access door. And then this is how you get to the bow. You can see you have another lovely U-shaped seating area, then a huge space for everyone to lay out on and enjoy the sun. There is a canopy that goes overhead to protect this area from the sun. You also have these pop-up lights. So I think we'll head inside through the side access door at the helm. So they're currently doing work inside the main salon, so we'll actually hit that area last. But you do have the master cabin right on the main deck. And that's forward through these doors. You have a large king bed, huge window, and then of course you have a walk-in closet. There's a large TV mounted up on the wall. And then this is the master bathroom, and it's an actual bathroom. You have a full-size tub in here. Here's your shower. And then this direction is the toilet. You also have a huge window right in the front of this master bathroom. You have double sinks as well. So I think we'll check out the guest cabins next. So we're gonna head down these stairs and there are four additional guest cabins down here. You have two identical cabins on either side. Like I said, the second cabin is identical to that last one. So you have another large bed. Actually, the bathrooms are a little bit different, but the rooms are very similarly sized. So you basically have two VIP cabins on this yacht. And then the last two guest cabins are back here. You have two single berths. And they have their own en suites. Very similar in this room. 
They also have full standing headroom in all the cabins. I was gonna point this out in the main salon, but this is all light oak, and you'll see that wood all throughout this yacht. So we're gonna head back up and check out the galley next. So you have a little dinette space in here. You have a wine fridge a huge full-size refrigerator and freezer. And then tons of storage space. You have your Bosch oven, as well as a Bosch cooktop. And then you have your microwave overhead. You also have a trash compactor and a full-size dishwasher. Similar to the theme we've been seeing, you have large windows in every single room where it's possible. So that's a really nice touch from Ocean Alexander. Then really quick, the day head is right here. Let's go on a little walk together again. I think they're hanging up some art in the main salon. So it's taking them a second to get it just right. But we can head back down to the aft deck from here and I will show you the crew quarters and the engine room. As you can see, you have side access doors on either side of the aft deck. And to get to the crew domain and the engine room, we'll go through this door right here. So right away I noticed the finishes are still very nice in here. You have a little seating area, sort of like a dinette space. You also have a good sized fridge and microwave and a sink and also a little cooktop. You can monitor all the systems of the yacht from here so the crew is always aware of what's going on. I believe the captain's cabin is right here. Took me a second, but it does have an ensuite. Really good size shower, actually. You have your laundry facilities down here. And then you have two more crew cabins with bunk beds. This one's being used as storage. And they share this head. But once again, it has a pretty good size separate shower stall. Back here you have just some extra storage. So you have a tool chest and it looks like another large refrigerator right here. And then this yacht has an awesome engine room. We'll step in through this door. And right away you'll see it's extremely well lit and very spacious. 
You can see one of the Kohler generators right back there. And there's one on the opposite side as well. Now this yacht comes with a pair of MAN V12 engines. These are 1900 horsepower each. It gives you a top speed of around 21 knots, cruising at 18 knots. And I think the range is well over a thousand nautical miles, depending on your speed. So that is the entirety of the engine room and crew spaces. Let's see if this painting is hung up. So the art is not hung up yet, but over here you have another little bar area with a sink and a fridge. And then, like I mentioned, this has the light oak in here. You have a huge L-shaped seating area. You can see more of those floor-to-ceiling windows. So you have tons of natural light in this room. Then you also have optional doors on either side of the formal dining room. And then here is the actual formal dining room. You have seating for all 10. And I think it's time for us to get out of the way. So let's head back down onto the beach club and finish the tour in a nice cool area. Let me know what you thought of this yacht in the comments down below. Thank you to Ocean Alexander for setting up the tour. This yacht was simply gorgeous and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Until next time.